Hello everyone! Thank you guys for tuning into our channel today. So today's Canva video request is how to use t-shirt templates in Canva. So we're going to learn how to do that in today's video. Let's get started! Okay, so here on our home page, oh, we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to type in t-shirt. And from the drop-down, we're going to select this option, T-shirt. We're going to be routed to the templates page. So this is the templates page. And here we'll be able to see lots of T-shirt templates that you can choose and then use or modify. You can also create a blank T-shirt design by going up and clicking on create a blank button. In my case, I'm going to try to look for a nice design that we can edit. I'll be back once I find something I like. I think this looks interesting, so perhaps I'll go with this one. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to click on Customize this template. Okay, so this is it. This is the template that we have here. And in case you want to change your template, you can go to the side panel over here and then scroll down and try to see which template you'd like to replace your current one with. You can also use the search bar over here so that it's easier for you to find the things you're specifically looking for. I think this is nice. Perhaps I'm going to add another page and put this one here just in case I change my mind. So now we have two. Okay. And in case you want to use your very own graphic elements or photos, then go to the upload section. And then if you haven't uploaded your files yet, click on upload files. Then select the files that you want to upload and then click on open then they'll be uploaded over here. They'll show up right over here. And in order to add them to the page, then you can drag them and position them just like that. And for the text, just like this one, you can go to text here and then you can choose from text templates or you can simply add a basic text box. In order for you to add a text box um, in the easiest way possible, then just press T on your keyboard and a text box will automatically appear. So once you click or select your text, this text toolbar right over here above will appear. So this is where you can change your font, font size, font color, and depending on the type of font you're using, you'll have the option to turn it into bold or italics and sometimes even underline. And this one is just for the alignment. You can use this one to align your text to the left, to the right or full block style, yeah, to the right or to the middle. Um, it's very difficult to see it that way, so let me just extend this text box and show you what I mean. So yeah, like that, to the left, full block style, to the right, or to the middle. Yeah, something like that. This is just to turn your text into a bulleted list or a numbered list. This is just to adjust either your letter spacing Or your line spacing. I think you'll understand line spacing if we, if we have several lines. Okay, two would be enough. So the more you slide to the right, the greater the distance will be between your um, sentences. And the more you go to the left, the more overlapped they will become. <laughs> yeah. So basically, that's what spacing does to your text. And then, of course, you can add 
effects. You have shadow, lift, and many more. So just choose whatever it is that you want to use. You even have the option to curve your text if you want to. So just press curve and then scroll down further to see the adjust settings. Adjust the curve as needed. I don't need to adjust my text, so I don't need to turn it to curved. I don't need to curve it, I mean, so that's okay. Just none. And okay, if you want to replace your elements, you can just go to the elements button here. Type in whatever elements you're looking for, for example, um, flower. And then go to graphics if you're looking for graphic elements. And then go to photos if you're looking for photos. And that's it. So we're going to try to redesign this. Make this our own. So yeah, let's give it a try. I'd like to try to see if we can find another kind of butterfly here. Oops, wrong spelling. Hmm, I think it's nice, but perhaps I'm going to delete these elements. And I'm going to put this in the middle. I think I like the color that way, so yeah, maybe we could So yeah, maybe we could keep it like that. Or maybe use this one. I'm just, I'm just going to delete this. I like this one better. Um, okay. I'd like to add some splashes. Or splatter. I'm going to try to find a good splatter. Perhaps not that one. And I want to change it to be the same color as our butterfly. So yeah, I'm going to go back up. And perhaps this one's okay. So I'm going to click on this color button here and go to this button. Select the color picker tool and Use the same color that this butterfly has. I'm going to duplicate this. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. And this time I'm going to color pick this color. And I'm going to send it, position it to the very back. Maybe I have too much yellow, so I'm just going to delete those. And then I'm going to duplicate and change it to white. Yeah, that should be okay. And as for our text right over here, just move those things and delete this text. And make sure that our butterfly is centered. Mm, okay, that should be fine. And then I'd like to add a text to it. So just press T on my keyboard. And I'm going to replace my text over here with just something very basic, like butterfly. And I'd like to change it to a different font. So I'm going to go here and change it to a cursive font. Okay, let's choose some cursive fonts here that would match our design. Uh, 
I'm going to duplicate this text and type, but I'm going to change it to a different font. I'd like it to be corporate style this time. Perhaps I'm going to change this to all capital letters. So I'm going to go to this button here that looks like three dots and then click on this uppercase option. I'm going to make it smaller, position it to the center, to the middle, go to line spacing and adjust the letter spacing. Perhaps I should curve this. So go to effects, curve. Adjust. Perhaps I should align this to the left. I'm not sure if it looks good. Maybe I should just remove that. Okay, maybe I should just keep it that way. Just a simple t-shirt design. And I like this one, but I guess we're not going to be needing that today. This should be all right. So, okay, we're done designing or editing our t-shirt here. So it's time for us to download it. We're going to go to share over here. Um, okay, depending on where you live, I think you also have the option to have your design or to have your t-shirt design printed to you by Canva as a t-shirt. So um, you can actually do that by going to the share button here and by going to print your design. Um, in my country, I don't think they have, um, okay, let me just go back, print your design. I don't think we have the t-shirt option over here, but yeah, usually you'll get the option to, um, have it printed for you as a t-shirt. And if that's something that you want, then go for it. But in my case, I think, yeah, the only thing we can do is to download it. So we're going to go to the share button again, then go to download for the file type. Um, since we're going to be printing it, so perhaps PDF print would be the best option for us. And then make sure to check other download settings as um, here as well, especially these. Crop marks and bleed, flatten PDF, include notes. And then select the uh, pages you want to include. In my case, just the first page. And then um, select your color profile as well. So RGB is best for digital use, but CMYK is best for professional printing. So I guess this one would do. And once you're done, um, click on download and it'll be downloaded to your PC. And that's it. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thank you so much for watching. And we look forward to seeing you again in the next video. You have a great day.